The money will come to you. Let me tell you, and Elise absolutely right. Women know a whole lot, but we don't know how to monetize it. And until you get somebody to help you relearn what you know about your worth, your worth will not change the way you look at yourself. Those are the lessons I teach. What you're really worth in the world. And, and what, what Rebecca said is what I'm actually living. I got twins in college right now. I pay, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy because I wouldn't have been able to do this at a job. So it's a blessing and I thank God for it. But I pay $1,800 a month for Hope's tuition, $1,700 a month for Faith's tuition, and they both have apartments. I pay $750 a month for, for Hope's rent and $700 a month for Faith's rent. I just bought both of them cars, cash, new cars. I pay their light bill. I pay their water bill. I pay their phone bill. And all they got to do for mama is make the dean's list. Because I tell them if you don't make the, ten, the dean's list, you're going to lose your scholarship. The bottom line is that you don't know what you don't know. And if you don't make the investment, and I, the black code light starts in the morning, bit.ly slash black code. If you don't make the investment to learn something different, you're going to always be where you are. Uh, I don't know why women don't feel like we need to learn, and especially from other women, but, but, but you do. Rebecca, what do you think about that? You have to constantly be learning. Um, for one thing, you go stagnant. I would say a year and a half ago, I looked at a coach, um, uh, Peter Wynn out of Las Vegas. And he was going to offer me a free day at his conference, but it was going to cost me $22,000 for three more days of coaching. And that was all I was going to get for $22,000. And I said, out of my price range, not going to offer me enough, don't need this. And then I found you on Facebook. And I probably listened for a year before I actually signed up for a class. Um, could kick myself in the butt for waiting so long. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's been... I've got more than $22,000 worth of information. I know I have a membership group opening up. I know I have a class planned for the 1st of January. I know that I have um, one of my authors, because I have a small press. One of my authors is adjunct faculty at Oakland University in Michigan. And she has said they just have opened a creative writing program and she is going to help me get a weekend um, writing seminar because I'm an alumni. So she thinks, why not bring in an alumni who has some experience and, you know, let them teach. So what you learned, what you learned really from me and guys, what I teach all of you is we turn over every rock for money. A lot of you are living a million dollar lifestyle right now. You're doing a million dollars worth of work. You're offering up a million dollars worth of help. You're doing a million dollars worth of support. But oh, when you call the bank, your million dollars is not there. Mine is. And the difference is you have to make sure that you're requiring. My Angela says you teach people how to try to treat you. I say you teach people how to pay you. And my website is bit.ly black code, which stands for build, launch, and quit. B-L-A-Q. And a lot of people, even, even multiple streams of income, Charlene, a lot of people don't know what that really means. A lot of people think that multiple streams of income is a daycare, a car wash, and a fried chicken stand on the weekend. That's not what it is. Multiple streams of income is taking your one thing, that one thing that you're passionate about and that you embody and then turning that into a lot of different, a lot of different platforms and, and a lot of different uh, deliveries. And so it's, it's definitely something you, you boy, you, you got to learn it. Let's talk about, let's talk, let's talk about your social media skills 
before the black code and after the black code? Oh my goodness. Before the black code, um, I would put blog posts on LinkedIn and that's about it. Um, my Facebook page had about 800 people on it. Most of them were other authors that I had met along the line or new authors that I knew. But uh, Periscope, I hadn't even heard of it. And I didn't go live for anything. Um, and when I first went live, I was doing Facebook first and then Periscope. And Coach says to me, do them simultaneously. Save yourself some time. And I'm going... Okay, um, I find Periscope a little intimidating because I get all these guys who are hitting on me, but I've learned to just ignore them. Um, they're just trolls, and I, I don't need to. I had one that was obnoxious the other night, and I finally blocked him. Girl, you ain't got to wait. That's one thing you're going to learn, Rebecca. Coach Block game is strong. Baby, I don't yeah. even wait. <laughs> I don't wait for anything. <laughs> So, guys, the website, again, is bit.ly slash black, B-L-A-Q, code, C-O-D-E. And that stands for build, launch, and quit. Yeah, baby. I need to tell them, if they don't take your class, they will be missing the opportunity of a lifetime. Aww. I didn't need the Q part because I've been retired since 2010. I needed the motivation part, the how to put it together, because I had the product, I had the services. And so, guys, it doesn't even matter how old you are. I am 63 years old, and you can start a business anytime. So it's important that you get the right coach, and this one was my right coach. I agree. And you know, one thing I tell you guys, and if you, if you feel like you need to expand your revenue, hashtag me in the chat. If you feel like you need more money, if you need more opportunity, if you need more freedom, hashtag me in the chat. I tell you guys all the time, it doesn't matter whether you hire me or not. Hire someone. You can't do this by yourself. No, you can't. It's, it's next to impossible. It is next to impossible. And, you know, I love that you're here because people that just started the Black Code last night, like Asha and Paula, they, they can hear, you know, what it looks like after the end of this time with me. You know, and, and this is like my 20th testimonial. <laughs> so at some point, I'm doing a little something right. You know what I'm saying? But there's a, a certain level of education that people with money and people with affluence understand that th that if we haven't been taught, we won't know. We were taught to work and get a job. And that's what we were taught. And unfortunately, that's not the key to a million dollars. No. Let's talk about your million dollar vision because I heard you mention it earlier. So pre-coach, and I know everybody says they want a million dollars, but pre-coach, did you think it was a possibility? No, no. In fact, I was living um, pretty much paycheck to paycheck. Um, now, it's like, great, there's not a whole bunch of money coming in yet, but it's coming. Um, I got a phone call while I was, I was in Michigan for the summer. My home's in South Carolina, or at least it is until next week because I'm selling it and I'm moving back home to Michigan. But I was in home, at home um, in September, and I got a phone call. I worked with an organization down here called Next Steps Johns Island, and we help people who want to help themselves out of poverty. And so if it means getting a GED, then we show them how to get in and get the GED. If it means getting a job, you know, we send them for resume skills and all that. We're uh, a referral purpose, um, program. We do not give out money. We give a hand up, not a handout. And the South Carolina director called me and said, I have a young lady who's written a book and she has no idea what to do.
do now? And she'd like to become a speaker and market it. And I said to him, Ed, I'm opening a coaching business. She would be perfect. So he gave her my number with my permission and he gave me hers. And we have talked a couple times, but she's so busy pursuing, um, oh, who are the speakers? Postmasters, that she really doesn't have time to do what she needs to do. And so um, we are not going to connect as client and and coach but at least I could talk to her right and you know not only that Rebecca here's what's going to happen the uh, people are going to keep coming and coming and coming and coming every person you talk to is almost like an internship it lets you know what to say the second time and the third time and the fourth time but you're making waves and as long as you keep splashing the water, things are going to happen. And that's what's happening with a lot of us ladies and men. We're not splashing the water. We're not, we're not moving forward. Everybody that was in my class last night was uncomfortable. Every single person. And I'm sure if you think back, Rebecca, to your first day of class, you probably were like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? <laughs> now, even with that, because you were a writer even before you met me, but in using the process I gave you, did it did it make it easier for you to think about this whole book writing process? Oh, it did. It made it wonderful. And don't mind me, I need to charge my phone, so I'm wandering through my house. Um, it, it was great. It made it really easy. And I'd been struggling with how I wanted to put... Uh, a writing class together and it turned out that the first ebook will never ever be an ebook probably but it will be the basis for workshops yeah it, it helps you get even bishop said that the other day i said uh, i told bishop in class that he had to write a book in seven days remember and he was like how am i gonna do that but you know here's the thing if you trust the process and if you allow yourself to be educated by the process, you're not going to only have a better understanding of your value. You're going to have a better understanding on how to build that value in the world and bring that value to life. Guys, you, you, you got some choices to make. And some of y'all have been watching me for a year, two years, three years. When are you going to jump the broom? And say, I'm tired of being on this side. And let me see what the... <laughs> somebody actually even asked one of my clients. What's the draw? Why is everybody so hype about Danielle Winningham? Really, what is it? And so if somebody asked you, Rebecca. And you know, y'all are fight over me. So once they took they, 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 they riot gear off. Because don't be asking no questions about my coach. You understand me? Once they took their riot gear off, they were able to give an answer. So if somebody were to ask you, Rebecca, why coach? Um, because you talk to me like I'm a, a person. Um, you explain things clearly. And if I have questions, I know I can ask. And I do. <laughs> I definitely do. Um, but the... The whole process is, is really, when you break it down, simple. You just have to know what the process is. You don't yeah. know what you don't know. And you don't know the blueprint. And it's like, you know, I have a bachelor's degree. I have a dual master's degree. And I have advanced coursework in leadership. And I didn't know any of this stuff you were telling <laughs> me. And it's like, where have I been all my life? You know? It's, it's not that. So listen, guys. Somebody has to go through the fire. Uh, it's a book that calls it the hero's journey. I can't remember what book that is, but I love that. 
Somebody has to go through the fire and bring the talisman back. Somebody has to take the lumps, take the bruises, take the licks, so they can tell you, girl, don't touch that stove. That stove hot. No, no, girl, don't go to the left. It's gators over there. And once you've done that, you literally have a map of where to go and where not to go. And that's what I give my clients. I give them the map. I say, go to the right, turn to the right. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't exonerate you from starting at zero. It doesn't exonerate you from having to do the work. It doesn't exonerate you from the fear. It just doesn't. Everybody has those three things they, that they have to go through on their journey. But it does at least mitigate some of the anxiety and some of the mistakes that you would make Trying to piece this together on your own. Rebecca, because you do have those extended educations, how long do you think it would have taken you to figure out what I taught you? And I taught you in 16 weeks. How long do you think it would have taught you? Oh, it would my Lord. I, I'd still be trying to figure it out. I mean, it would take probably two to three years. And, and that would be of intensive immersing myself mm -hmm. in marketing and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Social media. Social media.